Well, hello, folks. Welcome to Taking in the Outdoors. Well, without dragging this out, let's get right on to the topic. I'll see you in a moment. Well, folks, here we are, taking in the outdoors. Tonight's episode, or today's episode, whenever you happen to be watching this. <laughs> Sty doesn't know what time of the day or night it is anymore. <laughs> this episode. Take out in the outdoors. Yep. Take out in the outdoors. You're probably wondering, what's that got to do with taking in the outdoors? You'll understand it before you get to the end of this video. Well, you can see the background I've got today. The garbage. Ignore the garbage. <laughs> and look way off in the distance. You can see this tree line here. And you're looking out over the water you can see the mountains in the background. Absolutely beautiful. The minute you let your eyes drop below that horizon, what do you see? Right away, even here, you can see the garbage. And then here, of course, it's a dump. It's a dump. There's a roadway up here. You can see where they're just throwing the garbage off the side of the roadway. It's a dump. Beautiful scenery. Terrible, nasty mess. Okay, this is extreme. Okay, this is extreme. I know in the United States they've limited this to the greatest degree. When I was growing up, we had town dumps, city dumps, like this. We don't anymore. They don't, they just don't allow these small little dumping grounds like this anymore. Now it all gets hauled out to big landfills that cover hundreds and hundreds of acres. And um, it all goes to that one spot. And it's supposed to be managed waste <coughs> so that at a certain point, they close off part of it, they cap it all with soil, and they allow nature to take over, and they have growth over all of that trash. Basically, what they're doing is capping it, hiding it. Um, but what this is about is outdoors. Take out in the outdoors. How many times have you gone for a walk in the outdoors off on a trail somewhere? It seems quite remote. There's nobody around. And there it is. There it is. The infamous beer can or pop can or candy wrapper along the trail. And it's like what is that doing out here? Well, you know how it got there. It di didn't sprout legs and get there on its own. It was carried out there by somebody. And somebody let it get away from them. Or somebody put it there. They threw it there and didn't care. Now, I'm the type of person where I see those things in the outdoors. I do everything in my power to take it out. And that's the takeout in the outdoors. While you're out taking in the outdoors, you should not have to 
take out evidence of others being there. You should be able to go out there and see the great outdoors, Mother Nature, undisturbed. Without the evidence of man, everywhere you look. I'm going to give an example, quick example. There's this beautiful little lake I heard about six miles off the beaten path. You know, that's quite a hike, six miles into this little remote lake. Well, it was six miles any direction from that lake before you'd even come across any kind of trail or road. And there were some natural game trails and there was one creek bed that you would follow to get to that lake. Didn't have a designated trail going in there. So I decided I'm going to go explore that lake. I got my bearings and I knew where I was headed. So I took off to that lake. It was a pretty good hike in there. Uh, it took me a couple hours to get in there. And I got to this lake and I came in on the west side of the lake. I was looking east and I got in there early in the day. It was well before lunchtime. And I'm thinking, boy, this is really pretty in here. This is, oh, there's no sign of people ever being out here. Love it. And I was going to camp overnight. I wanted to do an overnighter. I thought if the lake is nice enough, I'll camp right by the lake. Well, sure enough, looking across that lake, I see this nice little knoll, this little hill. And I thought, oh, perfect. I go over on that hill and that from that hill, I'd be facing west. I'll be able to watch the sunset tonight. It'll be beautiful out here. I won't hear people. I won't see people. There'll be no sign of any human interaction with the outdoors and I can take it all in. I'll set up a nice little low impact camp on that little hill. So there I go. I hike around that lake, got to that little hill, right? Now I'm still down by the lake's edge and I'm thinking this is beautiful. This is beautiful, this grassy knoll with scattered trees on the top and it comes right down the water's edge. It's beautiful. I'm going to put my tent right up on the crest of that little hill amongst the trees. It's going to be beautiful. So I hike up there. I get to the top and there's a fire ring. Somebody had stacked up a bunch of stone and made a fire ring, fire pit. My heart just sank. That fire pit and the stones were full of and covered with melted plastic that looked like soda bottles, water bottles, and the sort. Plastic bags, stuff like that. Melted over the stone and the remains of melted plastic in the fire pit. I saw that and my heart just sank. Then I started looking around and I realized whoa, it's not just in the fire pit. All around this campsite that somebody had created in the grass, because it was obviously had not been used for probably several weeks or maybe a couple months. Nobody had been in there. Doesn't matter. But around it, as I looked, the grass around that campsite was littered with trash. There was beer cans, pop cans, bottles, paper, plastic bags, just garbage, all in the tall grass around that campsite. Well, I was so disheartened. I, there's no way I was going to set up a tent in the middle of 
that garbage. So I went down the top of that hill a ways, and it wasn't the best location, but it was better than being with that garbage. And I set up my little camp, and I had packed in for that trip. I had packed in a small camp stove, so I was. It was pretty much so a cold camp, you know, just using a gas stove to heat some water up, make coffee, and and fix a mountain house meal or something. Um, so it was very low impact. Didn't need a fire ring. And I set my little pup tent up, found a good spot, set it up. And as I'm going through my pack, pulling out things that I'm going to want, I came across my garbage bag. Now I always carry anywhere from two to four 13-gallon plastic garbage bags folded up, put in the bottom of my pack. I looked over my shoulder at that other campsite and I said, "I should not have to spoil this trip doing this." But then I told myself, "You don't have a choice. You don't have a choice because." The order is now placed. It's time for takeout. So I grabbed my garbage bags and managed to fill two 13-gallon garbage bags, very tightly full of trash from an old campsite. Not that old. I, I was certain that it had been used earlier that year, but obviously somebody else knew. How to get into the lake, and they went there, and it was more than one person. It was very obvious, and they just totally disrespected the great outdoors. So two full garbage bags out of that little campsite, six miles away from the nearest trailhead or road or anything. Man-made, and there was 26 gallons of trash around that little campsite. Take it out, take out in the outdoors. If you take it in and don't consume it or totally use it, take it out. If it produces Trash, take it out. Take out in the outdoors. Always take out in the outdoors. And if you can, if you have the ability, take out that what others don't, what they leave behind. But always educate people and tell them, you know, I've been taking trash out. If you see somebody throw trash on the ground, get right on it. Tell them, hey, pick that up. And when they go, why? You tell them because I don't want to have to. Because if you throw it here, somebody that cares about the outdoors is going to have to pick that up and take it out. Take your own items out. And when you go in to the outdoors to take in the outdoors, you're going to bring things with you into the outdoors. That don't belong there. Make sure to take that back with you. Don't leave it behind. So, take out in the outdoors. Now, one thing I try to tell people all the time: I met a couple, young couple hiking, and we sat and chatted for a while. And I had a thermos in my day pack, and I had having a cup of coffee, and chatting with them, and I'm having a smoke. And before I ran in, actually, what happened is, is I caught up to them. They were ahead of me on the trail. I didn't know they were there, but I caught up to them. And on my hike in to where, actually, they were going also, I found an M&M candy pack package laying beside the trail. So I picked it up, stuck it in my pocket. You know, it's going to go out with me. And after chatting with them for a little while. They decided they wanted a snack, so they're digging in their packs, and out comes a package 
one of those foil type packages of peanuts. The young guy, he was eating peanuts, right? The young gal, out comes a big pack of M&M's. She opens that up. She's eating M&M's. I reached in my pocket and I pulled that M&M pack out and I'm looking at it and I'm looking at her and looking at it. And she says, oh, you eat M&M's too. She says, I just love them. I said, I found this on the trail coming in behind you folks. And she goes, oh, no, no, that's not, that wasn't mine. And then all of a sudden, right away, she started checking her pack. And it's got the outside little pouches, you know, you can store things in. And she goes, oh, my gosh. I had it, I stuck it, reached back and stuck it in one of those pouches and it must have fallen out. I said, we gotta be careful because even those of us that do not want to leave things behind, we can do it accidentally. So we have to have, we have to have the mindset that we have to use every caution. Do not leave those things behind. I'm a heavy smoker. I go into the woods for a day. I come out with a pocket full of cigarette butts. I go into the woods for a week. I come out with a Ziploc bag full of cigarette butts. That's my pet peeve. Don't let me see a cigarette butt on the ground out in the great outdoors. That part of the cigarette will sit there for years. It's full of toxins. It, it doesn't belong there. It belongs in your pocket or in a Ziploc bag. You take it home and properly dispose of it. You don't leave cigarette butts out in the woods. That's a pet peeve of mine. I, I have stories galore about where I've, there was one site I spent actually a full day picking up cigarette butts. I was furious. I was furious. In fact, that day, I was so furious about cigarette butts, I didn't smoke that day. I didn't have a smoke until I was completely done picking up the cigarette butts I could find. Then I allowed myself to have a smoke and to properly extinguish it and add that cigarette butt to the hundreds and hundreds of cigarette butts I had picked up. That's a whole nother story. So when you're out there, hey, how about a little takeout when you're in the outdoors? And while you're take, getting takeout in the outdoors, don't let it spoil your trip. Take in everything around you as you're taking it out. And after you pick up an area like that, step back and look at it and just think what it looked like when you first saw it and how it looks now after you picked that up and you cleaned it up and you fixed what some other individual had totally ruined and look at it and take in the beauty the way it should have been seen when you first walked into it. So there you go, folks. Get out there, do a little takeout in the outdoors. And while you're out there, take it all in. This is Steinor thanking you for being here for this episode. And I sure look forward to seeing you in another. And until then, you all have a very, very nice day. Bye-bye.